Hi everyone, my name is Mark. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now for a few years now, I've been showing things from all around the world, and I've talked of that, of how I can see things however anybody wants to explain it for many many years <clears throat> I've been able to do and have these types of glasses I was taught how to do some things with my eyes and most of my life I've been able to do these things and I'm going to show how to do these today it's a very simple thing but in this movie they live they showed it Roddy Roddy Piper gets these glasses and he's able to see and he notices everything around and starts to hear also when you have your glasses on you can even start to hear different things you will hear different things in the advertisements and stuff <clears throat> the little innuendos that they're trying to hide from us of the entities that are all around us that are running the world, the spiritual things, just as he can see and hear these things. It's also shown, I can actually, it's like this. You can see through the different veils. I can actually see the wheels. I see all of this stuff and there's a different thing in each person's eye, a different shading that you could be able to see with a lot of work. I showed years ago on my old channel that if you did a tracing board in the sky on a blue field that if you could not look at your what's following say you traced a vision on an empty sky you will notice some things starting to trail your vision but if you look back at them they will take off because they are always at your edge of your vision always and there's things in your right eye and your left eye involving the spiritual things and how these souls move in and out and how our soul can be taken out all of those different things in the eyes the windows to your soul are through the eyes now to do this all you basically do is just roll your eyes and then you have to hold <clears throat> they did this in Dune you have to be able to roll your eyes out and around and then you will start to be able to hold. This is not the same as your third eye. If you wish to study about the third eye, here's some things about it. You can look at it. It's all about meditating and different things to that. And to do what to get your glasses on and to begin to wake up, all you have to do is roll your eyes. You roll them outwards, and then you will notice you will have a weight on your head. And then you will roll them again. And if you can roll them several times, you will be able to hold. And then you will have a weight all in your head there. And you will be able to really study into things. It's as if you are really focused. That's what I was learned and taught, that it was for focus. That it's part of that. If you can get to the point where you can see the lights and things like this, then you're getting way deep. If you can get to this point where you can see the wheels and you can see the lights and you can see the glimmers of the, the different um, energies of the light all around flickering like little tiny little fluorescent things real deeply. And you have to learn to control your vision to do that. This is stage one of these things. How long can you hold your vision like this? Can you hold it at all? You might get headaches at first or anything. I've had my glasses for years and years. I can hold mine all day long. I can release. And it's just one stage of many different things, would you say? And here we'll watch a little bit of this. See, he gets his glasses. He starts to be able to notice everything around him. It's not like that. You're not going to see things like this. You're just going to start noticing things more. You will be more intent you will be able to focus a lot better you will solve problems a lot easier you will also get mad easier unless you can control yourself because it's like burning you're, you're intent 
and it's, that you're focusing all your energy upon it. And if you wear them for a long time, you could end up being very tired or it could exhaust you when you come down. This was also in the movie Dune. In the movie Dune, they had a test of how long he could hold his hand in the box. And they were testing everybody. And that was one of the tests, basically, is how long, see, it's starting to wear him out. It wears him out to wear these. The longer you wear them, the more it'll wear you out. But it's all around, and this is, it will, you will wake up. That's part of it. So there you go. That's the beginnings of how to get your glasses. Just like this. Roll your eyes around. That's literally it. That's what you do. But can you hold? Or are you just going to roll your eyes around and then you'll feel, start to feel a little bit of weight right here? Like you're intently focused on something. Then roll your eyes out up and again and again. That's the easiest way to do it. If you're really strong, you can just put them on. You can just you don't even have to really roll your eyes you just know how to just keep them on and then you can it does not weaken you through the day or anything but otherwise this will burn you in the beginning it will burn your energy it's what it does it's a pure focus on the force of all the essence of God all those little lights I talked of you are literally focused on the power and the energy of God and you can see the truth all around you and one of the reasons you start to get angry if you don't control it is you will see people when they lie you will notice the lies you will understand things that other people aren't understanding they will be like well, what do you mean and you're like well it will just it will be very deep you will be very focused on everything see his eyes see how focused he is this is there and it's time for me to tell people to do this or to try it if you can to see who can wake up how many people in this world can start waking up for everything the Lord is looking for all of us confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus believe in your heart God hath raised him from the dead and you'll be saved and this is how you wake up you will start to see all this stuff all around you thank you very much everybody hallelujah